live from New York. It's Orb Electronics with the Becky Stern. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's, uh, what is it, July 30th? Yeah, end and of the month. End of the month. Um, yeah. The next show will be from the future, as it always is. Uh, each week, we, we come here and show you all of cool, all of the cool wearable electronics on the internet and more. Phil, with me with, is Phil, Mr. Lady Ada himself. What is on today's show? On today's show, we're going to have a special code, like we always do. It's a discount code. It is code bender. You can use it to get 10% off stuff in the store. That's right. Wearable yeah. Wednesday. We're going to talk about some news, some cool customer projects, debut a video. Component of the week. We'll show you something cool part that you can use and why it is interesting. Material spotlight. Today it's sensor material. And questions and answers. You have questions, Becky has answers. If you have any questions during the show, you can leave them in the comments of the YouTube here or the blog, wherever you're watching, on Twitter or Google Plus, and I will round them up and ask the, answer them on a future show, making you eligible to win a prize. Which That's today right. is a Flora Big Surprise. Okay. All that and more on Warb Electronics with Becky Stern. TM. No TM. No TM. Fun. Yeah, it's fun to say that. Ooh, you should, you should TM that. It is just fun to say TM. We're yeah. just saying TM at TM. the end yeah. for fun. Uh, all right. Um, what, what is show and tell? What are you wearing today? Okay. Well, uh, we talked about this before the show <laughs> that we might have our own little show and tell mm -hmm. of wearable stuff. So I'm wearing Wave Bubble this season. So this is um, that site printallover.me. Yeah. And you can upload an image. And the image I uploaded was the schematics of uh, the Wave Bubble, which is sort of an illegal um, schematic. Well, you know, yeah, I mean, it's a device that's not legal to use. Yeah, but it's like, it's ooh, it's like, ooh, yeah. you're breaking the law. So uh, so I thought that was cool. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, this might be the first of many um, Lady Ada schematics turned into apparel. It's so, nice. Yeah, it's nice. I right? like and it. I made it subtle, so it's like, you know, not such... It's, yeah, it's, so it's just not, a black shirt. Yeah. But I didn't notice it at first. Yeah, that's course, why it's cool. Of course, I'm used to seeing just, like... Squiggles and yeah, lines just, all over the just black. like in my field of vision. Yeah. Um, my show and tell. I got one of these sun brace sun bracelets, UV sensing bracelets. The June by Net Netatmo. Net Netatmo. Yeah. And it uh, has a UV sensor. We're gonna do a tear down. Okay. That's cool. All right. Look at us, all fashionable. Yeah. I like that our things today are kind of subtle, but they're wearables. Sure. Totally subtle. This thing is like the first wearable thing that is probably for ladies or is yeah. for uh, or that I feel comfortable wearing. Okay, anyway. well, we'll try to do more show and tells. I actually have a whole box of wearables, like kind of like, I don't want to say mistakes, but I will say like experiments into <laughs> what wearables can be that maybe I will bring. If you have any special requests for Phil to wear from his um, from his box of tricks, see, there's a lot of funny things <laughs> yeah. that you could be wearing. Yeah, um, only funny to everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yes. Like I remember the safety glasses with the three D, the two camcorders. Yeah, I like that. That I was neat because I and what I did is I took the footage from each side and then I put it together, and then I had I think GPS coordinates. So this was like. 15 years ago. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, I would like you to fun. wear that on a future show. Yeah. It's my special request. Probably not. Um, <laughs> so let's go to Wearable we'll Wednesday. Dive, we'll dive right in. Um, All right, what's going first on? First order of business is to remind you that uh, enrollment is still open for the Gemma Hats Off Challenge. So if you want to get your hands on some free Gemma gear, you have a hat in mind to make with Gemma and a simple sensor, this is your opportunity. If you're working on a Halloween project, these projects are going to finish up around Halloween. And um, all you have to do is propose your Gemma project at the yeah. Element 14 site. And um, then 10 competitors will be chosen from the proposals we get. That's right. Those competitors will document their builds on the Element 14 wearable tech community page blog. That's right. And then one grand prize winner will win an Oculus Rift from Element 14. I asked you, I asked you about that today because yep. I was like, whoa, I saw a tweet from them. I'm like, yeah. whoa, I didn't realize that was a grand prize. That's yeah, cool. there's two grand prizes, one from Element 14 and one from us, but only for one for one winner. We're contributing um, an entire, uh, what we're calling the Flora, what, I don't remember what we're calling it now, the Flora Collection, like a whole bunch of- The Criterion. The Criterion Collection of Flora, all of the Flora sensors and boards. Um, in a cool pack curated by me. Uh, so get your entries in by August 4th to enter to win some cool gear, build a cool Gemma hat this fall. Okay. And uh, this is your... This is the Gemma sensor this pack. Is, yeah, this is, this, is, this is your canvas to think about. Right. And you can add extra um, parts if you want, but it has to be Gemma and it has to be a thing you wear in your head. Okay. I like this because it's like come up with ideas and then we're going to like kind of fund the idea. Yep. And, and watch you, you and, and help you along the way. Not that yeah. we don't for everybody, but okay. make, you, make you publicly um, okay. talk about your progress. And if you don't want to 
If you just want to buy one of these, you can. Code's code banner. 10% off. off. All right. Let's dig in. This is Wearable Wednesday. What is this? This looks like the coolest pair of shoes I've seen this in a long time. Bill Ward's combat boots for Burning Man. Yeah. These are Doc Martens with um, the Firewalker project, basically. Yeah. On them. They have the... Um, I don't remember what kind of... It's not the NeoPixel strip. This is a different kind of LED strip. It might also be WOS 2812, but it's not in the silicone sheathing. It's like got the... Um, it's got that coating, yeah. um, that rubberized coating, like right on the PCB. Oh, okay, that's so cool. So we'll see how well those fare up. Although it's a smart decision to pick boots that don't bend a lot at the toe yeah. for this mod, so that they last as long as possible. I hope they. Um, those boots, boots were made for blinking. Yeah, they were. That's just what they'll do. Okay, what's this? Here's a forum user was um, asking about some code help, and then ended up posting some project photos. Um, this is a glove for a um, like a magic wand on stage, like a theatrical costume magic wand, and um, it's supposed to like cast a spell at like slow speeds and cast a different spell at a bigger speed, so make a sound and light oh, up in a certain cool. way. Oh, that's neat. So it's a prop. It's a it's a costume prop for stage. Oh, that's really cool. And it and it has a sensor that. It uses the Flora accelerometer. Yeah, it's a mod oh. from the Sparkle Skirt code. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't have to just wear a Sparkle Skirt. You can make it into a glove or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Cast you can do it in a spell. hat. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, these are some photos from Comic Con. Comic Con fashion show with Hot Topic had um, some wearable electronics. Here's. Uh, it's hard to see maybe from this far away, but if you look on the blog, you can see the picture. Is this Iron Man arc reactor in the middle? It looks a lot like. Um, it's the Iron Man th three. The one with the triangle. Um, okay. And um, it looks a lot like our Iron Man Arc Reactor project. Gotcha. Um, which Probably you can is. build. You can yeah. look on the different learning system. And we have templates for the Iron Man 3, uh, like laser cut files. And this is, is this another photo from <laughs> the, that? Yeah, this is another photo. This is this, like, Cylon, like. Um, oh, that's so cool. It goes back and the, forth. Across oh, the boobs. that's cool. That's cool. Because as if you didn't need enough you know, people looking at your boobs, then there's a... But it but it looks like the Cylon because it's the helmet. That's, it does look like the Cylon helmet. That's really helmet. clever. Oh, man. That's awesome. Um, speaking <laughs> really of, cool. for the for the folks that are... Um, you know, We should probably start an Adafruit gossip site or something. For the folks that are really into like the things that we're doing, so if you go to adafruit.com slash costuming or adafruit.com slash cosplay, you will see kind of our under development section of the site that we're going to have a lot of cool stuff. Um, we'll probably be deploying... Um, some really cool graphics. Um, we have a lot of people that do costuming with Adafruit Electronics, so we have a whole section. So if you're into that, it's there. And you can get a sneak preview. As, cause, yeah, you know, I mean, you'll coming see, soon. Yeah, the paint's drying on it, but it's, we're getting started. Yeah. Okay, so and then next Halloween up. Halloween after that. Exciting. Um, this is what I did last weekend. <laughs> we, went okay. to the, um, we met the Illuminate folks at the Google Made with Code event, and um, they invited us to come check out their show, which is all EL Wire dancers. If you haven't seen commercials for it on TV or on America's Got Talent, then you're seeing it here first. Um, they, it's probably the um, the most extreme use of EL Wire I've seen. Yeah. They use so much of it and uh, use it so well. They have um, their own uh, wireless control app yeah, that they use sequencer, backstage. Yeah, it's really yeah they're sequencing different parts so that like they can create shapes with just their arms and have everything else be black. And then like when they fight, yeah. they kind of flash like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, like, cool. Bu -bu -bu -bu. And then um, they invited us backstage to check out their stuff. They use some Adafruit LEDs in their um, robot costumes. Yeah. And um, a lot of... Um, they were showing me their pro tips, like um, adhesive adhesive heat shrink, and like they were telling me that the gloves wear out the fastest because, of course, the dancers yeah, are using yeah, yeah. their hands a lot. It's cool. EL was completely not made for this, yeah. but they've made it into their own. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's a good show. It was really fun. So thanks for inviting us. Next up. Um, this Forbes article about my Hope Talk. Yeah. You know when you do a good talk, when Forbes is like, hey, that was a pretty good talk. <laughs> That's a pretty good talk. And, the, and, and like, I don't want to make it, like, I, I want to highlight all of the things yeah. that are in your talk. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. I think this is neat because I think this is the first time that someone did a public presentation that said, okay, so there's this Google Glass thing that people don't know how they feel about with the privacy of that. So there's this other group of wearables that's actually either proactively or yeah. defensively uh, thinking about your privacy. There. there were a lot of offensive things in my presentation. That's yeah. true. <laughs> well, yeah, well, the best one is just, the best one that I think if you need to sum up your, your talk in like one slide, it's just like the 3D printed spikes when you're in public transportation. Yeah. It's just like. They're not 3D printed. That were oh, yeah. from a garden store. Oh, it was from a garden store? Okay. Yeah. Well, they will be 3D printed. <laughs> Everything in a garden store will one day be 3D printed. So check out the Forbes article. It's a nice recap of, of my talk okay. if you don't want to listen to me talk. All right.
Next up. <laughs> this is your new uh, uh, learn guide and video, isn't video it? Video this week. The learn guide isn't new. The learn guide is from is from the code bender guys. Oh. Um, Old guide. Yeah. Good. No, it's a good guide though. Uh, yeah. So this we'll site, Codebender, if you haven't heard about it, it's really neat. It's um, a web-based uh, development environment for Arduino and Arduino compatible boards, and um, so you can program. You plug in over USB, program um, your Arduino from straight from the browser, and um, Codebender has included support for Flora, Gemma, and Trinket, um, which is a big deal because the regular Arduino IDE does not. So. Yeah. Um, you can either download our version of the Arduino IDE. It's open source software, so we've modified it to work yeah, yeah. with Flora and Gemma and Trinket, but it's not part of the stock we can just do this install. Thing. Or you can just use Codebender, and um, Codebender has a lot of our libraries yeah. already stored in it, so it will save you a lot of time. Yeah. I know that when I, this, starting this fall, when I start up my class at SVA again, I'm going to have them use Codebender because I will never install the Arduino IDE on Turkish Windows 8 again. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, I had two Chinese students and one Turkish student who yeah. are on Windows 8. And they were like, Becky, this help. This sounds like the beginning of like a, you know, a joke or something like that. <laughs> Two Turkish students, one Chinese student, Windows 8. Oh, it was a nightmare, it, 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 and it yeah. took forever. And when we really wanted, what we really wanted to be doing was playing and exploring. So yeah. Codebender can save you a lot of time. And we have a short video okay. showing you how to, um, right. how to get it set up. OK. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Just wanted to give you a brief update on a new tool you can use for programming your Flora and Gemma and Trinket and any other Arduino compatible board. It's called Codebender and it's a website that lets you program your Arduino board straight from the browser. It's pretty easy to use, let me show you real quick. So instead of downloading a big piece of software and installing it just on your one computer, you can log in from any computer and just install the browser extension. Codebender works on Mac, Linux, Windows, and uh, in Firefox or Chrome. Once you've installed the extension and checked out that you can communicate with your board, it basically brings you to an editor environment and you can easily just take code from any of our learning system tutorials and paste it right in, compile it, and even send it right over to your Gemma. This makes it really easy to take code that other people have published, either on Codebender or elsewhere, and create a whole folder of your own versions of those sketches right inside Codebender. Then you can publish your changes to share them with others, and uh, most of the libraries, including many of the Adafruit sensor libraries, are already built right into Codebender, which will save you time in setup. Let me see if I can change the color of my Iron Man to pink. Codebender supports all kinds of boards, including the Adafruit Flora, the Gemma, and the Trinket. So whether you're uh, doing an e-textiles workshop and have a bunch of computers to set up the Arduino IDE on, or you just want a simple place to store all of your sketches online, you could try out the Codebender site at codebender.cc. Thanks so much for watching, and subscribe for more wearable electronics from Adafruit. OK, that's Codebender. There you go. Get yourself some Codebender. It's really easy. Code fast, code easy. And you have code bender. <laughs> That's what it's. I'm just reading. I know. I'm I just know. reading what it says. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Dramatic interpretation by Phil. Yeah. I read all the websites to me. Yeah. Um, in that, in your William Chatner voice. Yeah. Uh, you can. Um, there's a lot of other boards that Codebender supports, but I know they put some special effort into getting Gemma and Trinket and Flora yep. working because of the special hardware bootloader um, changes necessary. So thanks, guys, and um, and also it's just really easy to use. It has all these sharing features too. You can like modify somebody's code and then publish it right there. It's like GitHub Plus. I don't know. It's cool. Uh, trap on a planet. Only Codebender can help. <laughs> Codebender. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> component of the week is next. Get out of here, William Shatner. <laughs> Always showing up. I know. I see he's my friend. Yeah. Um, the component of the week are, is the, uh, the four different types of coin cell battery holders, uh, breakouts that we have. Yeah. I would like, I have a special request to make a sewable version of at least the, of the CR2032 one. Okay. But you can sew to these or you can solder wires on or whatever. It's not, okay. they're not, um, it's not super different from what they would be if you sewed them. They're nice and smooth, so okay. they're not going to, um, 
okay. stab you. Um, but there's four different ones, so you can... Look at this, like, Voltron-y, like... Wow. We unite into I, a larger four coin cell. I have a little product. bit of fun making the show. Yeah, the show. No, I like it. <laughs> um, uh, on the top are the uh, CR1220 holders for Itsy Bitsy Tiny. These, they're not to scale, I just scaled the photo. So yeah. CR1220 for the teeny tiny Itsy Bitsy little battery, um, like the one we used in the friendship bracelet. Okay. And uh, switched, so switched and not switched. And then down here we have the CR2032 um, ones, switched and not switched. Yeah. Which is really handy if you wanted to make a project with just some sewable um, sequins or other, uh, just a couple LEDs. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And um, have it be switched on and off. Yeah. With the coin cell holder. So that's the main. That's the major hack. difference. Switches, not switches, right? Switches, not switches. Yeah. Two different sizes of batteries. That's why there's yeah. four. Yeah. Earth, wind, water, but our fire. powers tonight. Yeah. We are yeah. coin yeah. cell battery we power. Are, we are a bunch of batteries. Okay. Yeah. So get them. You can use them with. Um, uh, I was thinking that they're good for wearables because you can just add a few LEDs, real simple, um, and have yeah. them powered and not have to have a microcontroller. Yeah. All right. You can buy this. Code Bender, 10% off. Yeah. Buy a lot of them. Uh, material Spotlight. Here we go. This is our sensor film, small sensor film kit, and um, it comes with a bunch of different materials that uh, have different electrical properties, like changing resistance when you squeeze them. Uh, Etc. And so uh, it, they have a lot of. Uh, this is a. I don't remember the name. Of, that's what I forgot. Remember, I said I was forgetting something. I forgot yeah. what the name of the company is that we buy these from. Oh. Mm, yeah. It's in the link in the description, though, so you can click on it and and find out. Um, and so um, so it's not something we put together. It's a kit we're reselling. But you can make these yeah. film film sensors, and they have on their website a bunch of different tutorials for them. You go to the next slide. Okay. Um, so you can make all kinds of. This would be good for like Halloween costumes or. Um, wearables where you want a, a soft actuator that you like squeeze, and um, they're all kind of like made with tape and sensor film kit. Uh, does not come, yeah, sensor film kit. Okay, that's it. Sensor film kit side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. On their on the sensor film kit site, yeah. they have a bunch of um, a bunch of tutorials. Yeah. Um, and but it's a great way to get your hands on a bunch of different materials all at once. It's a little kit. It's inexpensive. Yeah, Try you're, it out. you're actually getting your hands on the kit. That's hands funny. on. Alligator clips not included. I see included. what you did there. Okay. All right. Well, moving right along, the code is code bender for that again, uh, because we have that whole code bender thing going on. I don't know. Code bender, yeah. robots in yeah. the sky. Yeah, I know. We got we got we got that code bender thing, and then we got the Voltron batteries going on. <laughs> it's nice. All right. We're having a Transformers theme show. Today. Yeah. All right. It's questions and answer time this week. The prize is Flora. This is an it. Excellent usually prize. is Flora because Flora is my favorite thing. Yeah. These days, um, it's a good prize I think because it gets you started with a lot it's of. It's a nice prize. All right. um, if you have a request for a different prize, you can let me know. But for now, we're just doing floors. More flora. More flora for everybody. Okay. Can I use code from an Arduino project with a flora? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Flora yeah. is an Arduino compatible board, which means that it's actually the same as the um, Leonardo and the Arduino Micro in terms of uh, what chip it's got on board, the 32U4. So um, sometimes you need to modify code to work with it um, very occasionally because of the different pin, the pin mappings are a little bit different sometimes for yeah. what's a digital in and what's an analog out and all that kind of stuff. But um, but yes, it's an Arduino um, platform, so. Uh, yep, compatible. Yes, totally. Next up, is there a tutorial on how to make an animated light up jacket? Thanks. Well, we have, you know, this backpack is not that far off. The, the Oh, that's pretty close. The brake light backpack yeah. um, shows you how to animate with some pixels, but we haven't put, we haven't done a jacket. However, um, last week on the show and on the blog frequently has been the Anthro Loom project, which is exactly that, a trench coat filled with pixels um, that animates. I think it runs a, on a maple board because uh, it has a thousand pixels on it. Um, yeah. You go to the next slide. There, on, but on this, the Anthro Loom site, there's all kinds of um, yeah. documentation of the build. Um, but I think between that and this backpack tutorial, you'll probably get you started. Okay. Next up, hello, I'm starting to get into Arduino and NeoPixels, but I was wondering if you could tell me where to find a beginner's guide to using NeoPixels and how to code them appropriately. So the NeoPixel rings, John, are the same as the, all the other NeoPixels, they're just in a ring. So any NeoPixel code is going to be good for you. Um, I find, though, that sometimes, um, uh, like the goggles code, which was designed to be very small and fit on a trinket, is not the easiest code for a beginner to understand because it's using lots of complicated math. Um, but I've, these projects that you're seeing on the screen now all have pretty, um, pretty intro level NeoPixel code. So animating through an array to make the um, bracelet 
animation. Um, the, what's it called, arc reactor code kind of like flashes on and off. The tiara code um, chases an LED across. The sparkle skirt code lights up random LEDs uh, once the movement of the sensor is over a certain threshold. Okay. So like these are all projects and the drone, see how I put the drone above us, you see? Oh, that's funny. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so one, deliver a package or be regulated before he even starts. <laughs> oh, 3D Robotics bought Siftio, by the way. I know, that's big a pretty news. big yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah, I had a friend who used to work with Siftio. Yeah, anyways. It's really cool. So we I, put Siftio cubes on the drone now? Yeah, just going to like come up to you. They're going to be eyes. They're light up eyes. We bought the light up eyes. Thing. So you play a video game. I don't know. Anyways. Super cute. What's going on, yeah. Um, so, so look for NeoPixel projects and then any NeoPixel project. But these are some I'd recommend you start with. Yeah. And um, check out the code and see if you can understand it and try to break it down and make it your own. And that's how I'd recommend. The NeoPixel Uber Guide, of course, um, has some li library references yeah. that are useful. Yeah. All right, next up. It's from Kim. I want to use Gemma NeoPixel to make a hair decoration for my niece. I know I need to coat the back and solder pads of the NeoPixel and Gemma with something to protect her from the battery current. Have you used hot glue before? I want her to be able to easily modify or add NeoPixels later. I plan to use silicone wire for flexibility and longer life, but I figure it's better to plan for repairs. Thanks. It is good to plan for repairs, Kim. That is clever thinking. Um, you can use hot glue for that, sure. And then when you want to update it, you can peel it right off. Yeah. Um, but if you're, unless you're gluing LEDs to her skin, like in the makeup project up here, um, you don't need to coat the back. Uh, so if it's more like the tiara down here, mm. you don't need to coat the back of anything. If it's just touching her hair, your hair is not conductive unless it's wet. And even if it is, like, yeah, you don't want to, I guess you don't want to short out your battery through your wet hair because it'll make the battery drain faster, but it's not, none of the battery current of batteries we sell are going to actually hurt you. Um, yeah. So, I mean, they can get hot if they're shorted, but um, if these projects both use the coin cell on-off battery holder, it really doesn't even get hot if you short it. So, you only really need to coat it with, and like, and you know, have I ever used hot glue before? I do hate hot glue. However, it does sound like the appropriate thing for what you want to do. If you want to be extra safe, you can put it on the back of mm -hmm. just the flora, and then you can peel it off if you want to add more. But I wouldn't bother coating the back of the NeoPixels. Okay. Next up, I hope it's not late to ask this. Nope, it's not. Seeing that I just thought of it a few minutes ago. Well, July 22nd. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was. It's it, never too late. It was late. too late for last week's show. Never too late to ask. <laughs> I have some parts around, and I was thinking of incorporating a GPS module, flora, and a strip of neopixels into a hat. Do we need to put in different code for the strip? The GPS jacket says to use the, neo, the flora neopixel code. Is it normal for neopixel code okay to use? Just wondering. Thanks. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Scott. Uh, um, yeah, the, he's talking about this tutorial for the Flora GPS jacket, uh, okay. which is kind of an early Flora project, and it was back when we had a different library for the, um, right. the sewable NeoPixels, it's because they had, a, they had a different clock speed, but then we updated the chip, and yep. um, now all NeoPixels use the same library. So um, it's, if you just substitute in the NeoPixel library and you change the call, thank you for the reminder, I should go back and update this tutorial, but um, yes, it should work just fine without any modifications except uh, for what library it is at the top. Okay. And guess what? Those are all the questions, Becky. Oh, yay. If you have questions, you yeah. can ask them in the comments, and I'll, I'll answer them next week or the week after, or the week after that. We have quite a backlog yeah. of questions. So they can post them in the comments on the blog. They can post them on Google+. Plus. They can post them on the comments on any video. Yeah, on any, I take them from any video, but usually this, yeah. the, one of the live show videos. Yeah, okay. Um, Carrier Raven, also welcome. Yeah. Um, if they were to, uh, on the Hudson River, if you were to write it with a plane, we'd probably see some of the question. Some of the question. Yeah, yeah if you sky, <laughs> if you were to sky write the question over the, the uh, um, like Hudson River yeah. downtown, yeah, yeah. We'd, we'd probably we'd be able to see it. it. But you might have to send me a tweet to tell me to look out the window. You could tweet questions, too. You could tweet, you could tweet questions. Okay, right. I put the questions in the drone's right. hat. It's exciting. The drone's hat. Oh, the battery's going. Do, 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 oh. do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, questions are in the hat. Can you see them? I'll try to toss, um, and I'll draw you at random. So you can ask another question if you don't win, or even if you do win, you can keep asking questions. Uh, Kim is the winner. Woohoo! You got a flora for your niece's hair decoration. I know you wanted to use a Gemma, but guess what? You just won a flora. All right. um, please email support at adafruit.com to claim your prize. And I will uh, also reach out to you, it looks like, via email because you commented on the blog. Okay. All right. Don't forget the code is CodeBender. That'll be active tonight until 1159.
PM. You get 10% off everything in Florida yeah. wearable. So if you want to buy anything that we talked about today, yep. you get, can do that. Get your hat challenge on. Yeah, if you don't want to buy something and you want to win some Gemma starter pack and build a hat project all fall, yeah. enter the Gemma Hats Off Challenge. This is the last time I'm going to remind you on the show because the entries close August 4th, which That's according it. to my math is less than a week from now. It is. I'm it not is. very good at math, though. It is. Just the, just the mental kind it of is. adding. It is next week for sure. I know for a fact. So um, that's it for the show tonight. We have um, show and tell at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Is Time. Some kind of like Raspberry Pi oh, photo yes. contest yes. reveal happening. 8, 8 p.m. Oh, on, Ask on, on Ask an Engineer. Oh, my gosh. So we did a, a photo Pi contest. You had to use Raspberry Pi and take a, a photo with um, a camera connected to the Pi. And we had so many entries. Um, 182 photos altogether, wow. and then we um, selected one grand prize winner, and then 14 uh, runners up. And wow, cool! Yeah, so, so, the, so if you are looking to see if you won, you tune in tonight at Ask yeah, Engineer, right? And big then deal. if you have a project to share, show up at 7:30 for the show and tell. That's right. We got that going on. You got a request to be added to the circles and all of that good stuff. But okay. It's there. You should do it. So that's really fun. That's it, Becky. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back next week with more wearable electronics. Same same bat channel and same bat hat time. Same hat channel. You could make this hat, hat with a Gemma, but I wouldn't accept your proposal because this hat is already made. But you could make a hat like this. Like it. <laughs> and win an Oculus Rift. Bye, okay. everybody. Bye bye.